Now, diabetes is something I think about every day, every hour, and every minute. I'm sort of anal about it, trying to keep my blood sugars as solid as possible, and being a scientist sort of helps uh, make it more of a game, so it's me against the diabetes, and can I keep it as flat and at 90 mg per deciliter as possible. I'm as active as I can be running and biking. I like to do all that stuff with my uh, friends and family or whatever. And so when we do that, I always think about, all right, how much sugar do I need to carry along with me? How much, ins how do I regulate my insulin? How do I you know, make sure as we're going through this trip that I keep the distractions to a minimum and actually enjoy being out? Nowadays, you would imagine that since we have continuous glucose monitors and insulin pumps, we should be able to take a computer and have the two talk to one another so that instead of the individual having to do the thinking for how much insulin to give, an algorithm could do that. And that's the concept underlying the artificial pancreas, otherwise known as the bionic pancreas, or some people call it the closed-loop insulin pump. You know, being presented with the idea of a closed-loop system where you have sort of a, a pump that contains insulin and glucagon and a continuous monitoring device all built in, and the device sort of regulates the way a pancreas would regulate, it's pretty amazing. It takes a lot of sort of the mental work that goes into diabetes away. So the NIH has funded a study that we will participate in as one of four centers in the United States. Now because we want people wearing it for week-long periods at a time and we want them to be accessible to their doctors, we will be enrolling uh, employees of UMass or UMass Memorial. We expect them to come to work normally wearing this bionic pancreas. And should any problems or questions arise, they would be close to us so that we could address them easily. There's still a lot of pieces, but as I, I like to describe it, as a it's a smarter system. It's a smart system where the monitor is communicating with the pump. There's no sort of, I check my blood sugar, estimate what I'm going to do, give the appropriate insulin. Instead, if I eat, the monitor will detect an increase in blood sugar, uh, release the appropriate amount of insulin. If I'm working out and exercising and riding my bike and it knows that I'm using a lot of that glucose and my blood sugar starts trending down, it'll release the opposite glucagon hormone to bring my blood sugar back up to that regulated level.